What's going on guys? Apple device today here. Um, I got a little video. It's a little irrelevant to the channel. It's really not related to any Apple devices, but it is a little relevant to showing you, you know, it's kind of how to how to basically get Wi-Fi in your house or how to set up a wireless router to your modem. Um, right here, you know, it's about time we had to update ours. We have a real outdated, cheap little Netgear wireless G router. It's uh, what is it? A WGR9. WG R614 V9. It's a really cheap router. It's really not much at all. So um, it's outdated. We needed to kind of move up in the technology world. So we're going to show you how to connect here. I got a uh, Linksys AC1600. The back here just got the Ethernet ports. It says internet and you have the inputs there and the USB connectivity. But all right. So since this is a wider router I'm gonna have to put it on the shelf below my modem but um, okay so what we're gonna do here though is we need to first take the Ethernet cable that it comes with um, every router really should come with these um, we're gonna uh, hang on one second gotta get this get this untied it's gonna be a pain here sorry about that got one there and there's one more on it just gonna tie what is it? Just gonna tie it off. And there we go. Okay. So you're gonna take this cable here. Um they they're not usually gonna be pretty long. Mine sorry about the messiness on the it's kind of our office area in our basement. It's kind of not used there very much and more of just storage now. I just kinda of put stuff on the desk, but um so yeah, it's a eth you know, Ethernet cable. Comes with, you know, y you need this basically. So we're gonna go into the back of our modem here, um, and you're gonna see you can kind of lay it on its on its stomach there. You're gonna see these ports. Now, a lot of modems are different, but generally it's gonna have the telephone, the cable, which is already plugged in. Don't worry about that. But then it's gonna have um, Ethernet. It's gonna say something right there along the lines of um, Ethernet right there. You're gonna want to take the first first one, whatever one is available slot. And plug the Ethernet cable into it until it clicks. You'll hear a click sound and it'll lock in. Okay. So now we're pretty much done with the modem. We can now take this and kind of, I have to just kind of throw it behind here. Okay, there we go. And we can take this, kind of push some cable management back there and kind of just straighten things up. And there we go. That's looking good. We kind of center it because not using the shelf or anything else really. And now I'm gonna go down here to the router itself and get right here, the back of the router. You want to pull the other end. This is that same cable that's connected to the modem, except we just have it going running up through and back behind there. The other end of that Ethernet cable that came with the router, or whatever one you use. And there's going to be on the back of your router here, you're going to have a port that says internet and then the other ports, but you need to take the main internet port right there, plug the other end of that ethernet into your router until it snaps. Okay. So there you go. You got the router and the modem all connected up with each other. It's actually a pretty simple process there once you get the hang of it. But now what we need to do is you need to take the actual power supply of the router and plug it in so what we got going here so untangle this here real quick okay there's a little bit of nod nodding we don't want the nodding one second what's going on guys okay so we want to take the end obviously of the power supply onto the back it's going to plug right into there. It's going to say, you know, every router is different. I get that, but it'll have the uh, 12 volt, whatever power. You just simply take the end of it and just plug it in like that. All right. So now we got that plugged in. We need to just take this and plug it into that that uh, that bar right there, that plug bar. So we're going to put this behind here. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna take this now and throw it back there. So now we got just once again cable management to make sure things aren't too tangled up. 
We'll take this now. This is the end of the uh, router's power supply. Just plug it in. And now you should wait, and there should be some lights that turn on here in a minute. It's a green light, there we go. Okay. I figure... Okay. Um, let's see here. I need to get that. Wait for the light to finish flashing. Okay, so now that we got that going, we can flash and everything is good. Internet, you check behind it. Internet's got a green light going for it, so we are all connected and we are all good. So now the actual hardware part of the router is all set up. So you know, most, there's going to be other routers out there. Like I said, every router is different, and this one doesn't seem to be as specific as other ones that are. Like, for instance, our old router, which is now going to be our backup router. Um... You got the power on there. This is network, and this is the internet. And this lights up red if the internet's not working, or it'll be green if it's working properly. And these are all the ports to let you know which ports are working. So every router is different. Now it's flat. It's a solid green light. Assuming that means that everything's working properly. But in order to now set your router up to its full potential. You want to go onto your internet or your phone, and um, hey, what's going on? And you, it's going to generally give you a guide of kind of like what to log into. So it's going to give you this 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 wireless. No, come on, phone. Now let's focus. Wireless network and the password to log into. Um, and it gives you a Wi-Fi, a uh, inter, you know a um trying to think of a website website that you use to log into so kind of a you know just a little hype so we're gonna go into the internet and we're gonna go into our login here generally you use to log in is just 192.168.0.1 is generally what you use to log in we have no internet so we're gonna have to so we have this 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 Wi-Fi here. You can go to your Wi-Fi, and we already have it set up. It's going to be called that Link Sys 00486. We can connect right to that. Let's give it a few. Okay. It's going to ask for a security key. It'll give you it'll give you one that kind of comes with it. Um, it doesn't really matter if I show you because I mean we change ours anyway, but it'll come with one in the little book. So you just want to type that in. One second, I'm gonna try to fold this here so I could read it. So we're gonna type that right now. Oh, battery's running low on the uh, the old computer make this quick here tears each enter we're gonna verify and connect to the internet so we have no internet but it's secured so we have links to smart Wi-Fi and now it's just gonna basically give you this uh, Wi-Fi this smart setup Wi-Fi screen that you're gonna come up to you're gonna want to say you know that you've read all the um, Basically, all the basic, you know, whatever. You don't actually have to read it. It's just, you know, terms and agreements, basically. But, yeah, you're going to connect to the Wi-Fi. And it's probably going to say no internet right there down there initially. Um, that's fine. You need to run through the... Uh, you need to run through the setup wizard before you actually do... Act, you are able to access internet. Yep, this is basically the way it goes. Um, it's going to ask, you know, of course, you have updates on your router. And now here we go. Is really what you need is you have your wireless settings. It's going to ask what you, what you want your your Wi-Fi name initially to be, and then your Wi-Fi password. Um, and you can change it to whatever you want. Um, but right here we're going to stop, guys. Um, basically, from here is, is it's going to update your router. Everything you know, everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be set. Um, Wi-Fi your your router's good. It's got the the solid green light, which is a good sign. That's base. That's really what you want. 
and um, yeah, you change your Wi-Fi name after this. Um, you could kind of, uh, you know, I, I'll do like an extension video. But um, okay, guys, I uh, hope you, this video was helpful. If it was able, to, if it was any help to you at all, please give this video a thumbs up, and maybe comment, and possibly subscribe if you really enjoy. Helps the videos get out there faster. Um, thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day.